Hello again and welcome to how to use the FPA e-learning portal as a student. Adams Uluwashiun is logged in here as a student again. And now in this course, we will teach us how to use the blog of the FPA e-learning portal, the blog of the FPA e-learning portal, how a student can actually partake or use the blog of the FPA e-learning portal. To do so, click on that course, click on the course that you've been registered under. Okay. Then click on participants. Right under participants, click on course blogs. Now, under course blog, once the page opens up, Click on about blog about this course. Blog about this course. You would see blog entries about this course. So here, as a participant of this course, you will be able to make your own contribution. You, you will be able to create a new discussion topic, like for instance, how or define and try new okay you could this is your topic you could now say hello class class let's define enter free new okay so you've set a discussion in motion and you expect a reaction from your class members so once this is done you can now click on So this is saved to anyone or less no anyone on this side click on save changes. Once this is done, scrolling down, you could see that it's it's been created and this the FPA e-learning portal would automatically send e emails to all of the participants that are registered for this course. Now that brings us to the next questions. How do Uluwashiun Elizabeth, as a student of this course, Adams Uluwashiun Elizabeth, know the participants or if have his fellow course mate for this course? Now, under my courses, click on practice for entrepreneurship. Okay, and now you would see under EED216, click on participants. Click on participants. On this resulting page, it gives you the opportunity to know everyone that have been signed up for this course. As you can see, there are lots and lots of participants and it goes down all the way to several pages of as much as 75. But it's important to note that this is a demo class and the members in this class are not really the participants. So this might not be the case in, in your real class or in other classes. Okay, so now you would want to also click this to find to get a detailed view of every participant. Clicking that and scrolling down. It gives you a detailed view of every participant and you would want to or if you like I'd want to click on any particular like for instance if you want to see your teachers for this course on that course rule click on teacher then the teachers for this course will show up. Now, you want to see or know about this teacher, click on his profile to show full profile. To show the full profile of your teacher. Okay, it shows the profile of this teacher, of the teacher of this course. Scrolling down, a little information, some information that are 
relevant for you. He says thank you for viewing his profile. You could reach him on so 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 this. Uh, you could also email him via these emails and also this. And you can contact him on his mobile on that contact and other relevant information. So the next thing here is to teach us how to send messages. How to send messages. You might want to send a personal message directly to your course facilitator. There is a send a message button here or link. Click on it. And once you click on it, it will open up a place, a window that will allow you to send a message. And also, it is interesting to know that you can also send message to just anyone or any of the fellow participants, your fellow participants in this course. Now let's send a message to this facilitator. Hello. Hello, sir. Thank you for the lecture today. Please, sir, when is our next class holding? Kind regards. Sharon or Adams or Lua Sharon. Okay, now after entering this message, you can now click on send button. Now, once you send, the message that you've just sent will will be sent to the facilitator of this course and you will also have a copy here for your own keep. You will also have a copy here for your own keep. Okay. So, you might also like to send to your fellow course mates messages or you'd want to discuss with them. Now, it's important to know that this message is different from forum, it's also different from blog. Now in forum and blog, every contribution you make, the go public and everyone that it's, or every participant of that course, they have access to your contribution or message as the case may be. But in this case, message is meant for a one-on-one, -on -one, just strictly for the sender and the receiver. So it's not made public and it's customly for both parties. So it's a much more private way of expressing, uh, expressing or sharing your opinion or sending a message across to your, either your mates or your facilitator. And let's assume you will want to send to IOAD Adishola, who is also a participant of this course. You click here. Scroll down and you can type whatever you want to type here and you can send a message to him and he receives it and replies you and your discussion continues it is also important to just to also know that you can also add a particular participant as your favorite friend or colleague in this course it is also important that you could add a particular participant or colleague in this course whom you could be having a one-on-one -on -one message or contact with. There's an add button here. Let's assume that Adams wants to add up the facilitator of this course as a personal friend. Let's add contact here. Click on the add button. It takes here, leave the page. And here, as you can see, 
Adams Uluwa Sheun has been able to add this course facilitator, his name is Mr. Innocent, as a personal friend. And so both of them can be having a one on one discussion that also is not made public to the entire quarter. So far, so good. Thank you for being part of this course. We'll see you again in the next course. Have a nice day.